welcome to Hasib Electronics. Friends, today we are going to discuss about how to repair a uh, switching mode power supply for LED TV. All power supplies almost are same. In first step, the first action we need to check a fuse. Check continuity for fuse. After then, today I am going to make live testing. Check AC voltage at input connector. 220 volt be careful and after fuse we have to check 220 volt this is output terminal of the fuse after fuse we reach at thyristor if the output terminal of thyristor there are no voltage replace thyristor or check continuity check input voltage of inductor and after inductor at these points check output of the inductor if no voltage problem inductor after the second filter we reach at the bridge rectifier AC terminals until here we were checking AC now we will check DC because the output of the bridge circuit bridge rectifier circuit that is DC voltage For we started from fuse thyristor I did not discuss voltage arrestor there is a complete detailed video I will give a link for functional descri description and today I am going to make troubleshooting this board I have some problem I have to repair this board so we will discuss this board today I am checking DC voltage that is 330 volt DC before this stage there were AC voltage here is a capacitor if we don't have 300 plus voltage here we have to go back to the circuit there is other safety when we are testing on the board with closed pins maybe the multimeter when we make cross it will make short circuit if your multimeter does not have the ability for insulation the probes you can install insulation sleeves put insulation sleeve heat shrink sleeve so you will not make a short circuit here I have DC voltage after that there is a chopper circuit this is pulse width modulator IC PWM and there is a FET field effect transistor this circuit it makes a switching for this transformer and we will check output we will not check pulse width modulator circuit we will check output of the transformer after rectifier it is 78 volt DC if I don't have output on the output terminal the problem in chopper circuit we can see it is 78 volt these two capacitors if there is no output at this point the problem chopper circuit or the IC near the chopper circuit we started bridge after bridge capacitors after capacitor this is FET MOSFET and the small IC that drives this FET and after FET there is a chopper circuit and output rectifier we will see here here this area it is chopper circuit we moved like this up till here AC and after AC we shifted DC voltage here are DC voltage here are AC voltage at capacitor we receive DC this is chopper transformer it it makes chopping it makes switching because we have two stages input stage chopper stage and output stage here there is a output terminal of this transformer you can see the closed view this is uh, these are outputs output terminal of the transformer and there is insulation between the transformer input and output primary and secondary we can see this is a diode 
it seems like it is it's shaped like a transistor but it is not a transistor i will show you here i take ac voltage and after that dc voltage these dc voltage come to the trans uh, capacitor here i have positive voltage if we see this diode mm, i will try to give a closer view uh pretty nice yes 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 uh, it is good it is two pin it's and uh, another thing here are two types of voltage one are standby voltage the second is power on voltage the 78 volt 78 volt which i measured before these are standby voltage after this diode this is one line of secondary and after that here here after diode we can see this is capacitor two capacitors these are two capacitors one end of the diode is connected to capacitor positive terminal the second line it is connected to transformer common line here are 78 volt and note it when i will make a power on to this circuit we will compare these voltage with that limit so if we see this circuit here is just only one one line common the second line these voltage are coming here these diodes we can see these diodes it is also rectifier full wave rectifier we will see them uh, here at C23 at this point it is 24.64 volt 24.64 volt if this voltage not available you can check these diodes but there is uh, no reason for missing this voltage because if we have 78 volt it means the chopper circuit it is working because that is one primary circuit the output if 78 volt are available the other outputs will be available this output is available it means the chopper circuit is working the other power supply is will working the 78 volt the main power supply if it is available and this 24 volt available that means we have we have no issue with the primary circuit we have circuit in output stage now i will check this voltage because we, this voltage 24 volt available so this mean this line okay these two lines for rectifier and we will check them again we see for closer view it should be 20 sorry 3.4 volt it is process it, these are called processor voltage these are very important power supply for this because this processor voltage go to the main circuit to the main control board if we see it is for also used for regulation it is also used for switching on it is to control for remote sensor to power on switches here is optocoupler it gives feedback to the system that there is power on command now as we discussed if we have these outputs at the output terminal that means our this circuit have output and optocoupler should give feedback so this uh, this area should working chopper circuit must be working here now if i come to this point 
if we see there is in this table the top side power on command I have to check voltage here it should be pin number 2 and ground it is 3.4 volt here it should be 3.4 volt 3.3 volt it is 3.4 it is ok if there is 3.3 volt and 3.5 volt 3.4 volt and we will make a jumper between 3.4 3.5 and pin number 1 power on when we make a power on switch from remote power on command from remote or power on button this 3 point volt 5 volt will come back to this power on pin ok now we will make our own uh, interlock I will make a jumper we, can, we will check the other outputs the other outputs should not available until we make just only 3.5 3.3 volt should be available just only in this connector only one output should available all the time that is 3.5 volt other outputs must be missing when I will power on I will make interlock now I will make interlock between 3.5 volt and pin number 1 every power supply it have the same procedure ok uh, I make a jumper it means now what is the meaning of this jumper that means there is a processor board connected and complete television is connected now I will check continuity between these two pins before I apply power ok that's nice now I will connect power again to this board here are 24 volt available if I come to this line to MOSFET that is regulator input voltage available and regulated voltage are missing that means the power on command is available now I replace the MOSFET and voltage are available at 3 pins the regulated output 24 volt are available it is switched 24 volt this makes switching the switched voltage and if the switching voltage are ok now the pin number 1 it is ground and it it is 12 volt available before that there was no output ok 12 volt available it is according to the table this table on the board when the power on command it is ok when power on interlock the jumper it means the main board is connected and we have pressed the remote when we press the remote this should be 3.5 volt available here so this board it is giving good output now the problem it was MOSFET I replaced the MOSFET and now the output 24 volt, 12 volt, 5 volt, 3.5 volt everything is perfect so if we understand the stages of this power supply this is this was the main problem these 12 volt were missing at all now when I replace the FET these 12 volt at this capacitor these are available now so friends if you want to understand the complete functional description of this power supply I have uploaded a video in Urdu and English language in my YouTube channel you can follow my YouTube channel and you can understand all the necessary parameter for this power supply ok it is 3.5 volt these are two capacitors here one is for 3.5 volt 
these two voltage 3.5 and 12 volt must be available and now we will see the 78 volt which I discussed before when we did not connect the power on interlock that was 78 volt now it is 95 volt so this board is now working perfectly standby voltage and power on command power on voltage now it is 95 volt before that before we installed the jumper it was 78 volt now I remove the jumper okay I remove the jumper and our this board now it is working correctly so if you think this video is good it satisfied you you can sub subscribe if you want okay